Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be the finale of my spring project Use It Up. I'm really excited to show you guys what I got through. I also didn't make too much progress since the last update because it's only been like a few weeks. So I updated about like the second week of May and now we're at the end of May. Um, and I'm posting this on June 1st, I believe. So I really only had like three weeks, more like two and a half. So I didn't really get too much progress on stuff, but I still ended up finishing off a few things from the last update. And then um, the summer project use it up intro will be in two days on the third, I guess. So yeah, look forward to that coming out soon. So let's go ahead and get on to what I finished since the last update. The first thing being the pink pineapple sunrise hand cream. Really excited to have finished this one off and it smelled amazing. Had a great like kind of cotton candy berry scent to it. It was really, really yummy. Loved it. I also finished off the strawberry pound cake. Uh, moisturizing body wash. This was so good. My progress on here, I had some like progress lines going, started out here in the project and then to here and then to here and then all the way down to here in a month. So I really only had like a little bit left before it was done and finally finished it off. I really have been finding myself really liking the moisturizing body wash formula and I thought I used to not like it, but I actually really do like it. So this is the only one that I ever had in my collection that I've ever tried before. So I definitely plan on picking up one at Summer SAS just to try out another um, type maybe I'll get like the glowing body wash or something or is that a scrub? I don't know But I definitely want to pick up another one of this formula at SAS Because um, I really enjoyed it and strawberry pound cake is just like a great um, You know overall year-round kind of scent and then I did finish off the Merry Christmas raspberry sugar little mini lotion This was a good scent nothing like insane or crazy good but it was still really yummy and had a great like raspberry scent to it I don't know if I would like this during the, like the Christmas time, but I definitely enjoyed it for like going into summer now that it's like really hot here. I really enjoyed this. Okay, and the last thing I have is the Raspberry Jam Donut Shower Gel. I have it tipped over because I have like two more uses left. It's right there. So I'm considering it an empty because I have probably two more days left with it. But um, for progress sake, we started out unused, went pretty much more than halfway, and now we're like pretty much almost done. So I'm considering it finished. It was a really good scent. I honestly don't see the hype at least in the shower gel, it was not that great. It didn't have like the strongest throw. I think strawberry pound cake was much better in the shower than this ever was. Um, yeah, I didn't really think it was that great. I definitely prefer something more like sugar cherry crisp. I'm gonna get like a jelly um, gourmand bakery kind of scent versus this one. That one's really good in the shower. This one was kind of mediocre, not gonna lie. Okay, so stay tuned for the end because I'm gonna pull out everything that I finished up in the spring project, use it up, and it's a lot. I have been collecting my empties for the past six months, so I am gonna do a video soon um, going through all my empties from the past six months, probably in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, at the end of this video, I'll pull out everything from my past project, use it up updates for the spring, and you'll see all the empties that I ever got. Also, I did wanna remind you guys, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. I was looking at my insights on my analytics of the channel and like 60% of you guys are not subscribed. So go ahead and do that down below. I post three times a week. I post a weekly vlog every Monday and then Bath & Body Works content on Wednesday and Friday. So yeah, I would love if you guys subscribe. It really helps out my channel. But anyways, let's get into things that I have progress on. The first one being the strawberry pound cake with hand cream. I mean, I don't know if I used it a lot more than I did last time. I think last time it was a little more full. Um, this time we're about halfway used, but I do love their hand creams. I'm, I really love them. I'm definitely planning on picking a few up at Summer SAS, um, but really since that could last me until fall if I need to, because I'm kind of planning on using up a few hand lotion, I mean, a few body lotions in place of hand lotions now that this is my very last one um, for like the summertime, just to finish off some lotions that I have. So. Yeah, I'll be on the lookout for some for SAS, but this is the progress update for this one. And you guys know I've been using up this Mary Kay Winter Wishes perfume from probably like 2013 for a while now. So we started it off in the project right up here, made this much in a month, this much in a month, and then this much in like three weeks. So I've been steadily using this. I definitely think I'll finish it. I hope to finish it before fall, um, just so I can start using some other stuff, but it is a great scent. It's very nostalgic to me. It's like kind of berry-ish with a slight floral note. I really do like it. I'm probably just gonna keep trying to use it up. 
And the next one I do have quite a bit of progress on. It's vanilla bourbon in this little mini form. Um, I used about half of it. I definitely plan on using the rest of it. This scent is so yummy. I think once I finished up um, and I finished up maybe that Mary Kay one, I will buy a full size of this. It is from, um, what's it from? I'll put the brand on here because I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's number nine vanilla bourbon and I really, oh, Mix Bar, that's the brand. It's from Mix Bar. I really want to get the full size of this. It smells delicious. Okay, for Fine Fragrance Mist, Twinkling Nights, I actually have not made a single bit of progress on since the last update. We were about right here, so I don't use this one that often. I use it every now and then to go out. So I think I'm not going to end up putting it in these kind of like going out fragrances in my Project Use It Ups because there's no way that I'll ever finish this in the next like three years um, just because I can't spray a lot of it. It's super strong. Um, the notes are Frosted Jasmine Petals, Whip Vanilla, and Mandarin Blossom. It is like very floral for me at least and I'm not a floral girl. I don't usually like them but I love it for going out. So I'll use this maybe once or twice a month and that's about it. So I'm not going to put these kinds of scents in the projects anymore. I think it's just kind of not worth me trying to focus on it. So yeah, I didn't get a lot of progress on this, but I feel like these shouldn't be the goal anymore. The next fine fragrance mist I have is Champagne Toast, and I did make some progress on it. Here is the progress from the last um, update, but this started off in the spring project up all the way at the very top. So I definitely got some good use out of it. For me, fine fragrance mists are super hard to use up, even if I'm like trying to use them as room size and stuff, I just forget to use them. So. My goal was to have it to the medium, not medium, to the middle of the packaging line on here, and I didn't get it that far, and that's okay. I'm probably gonna put this in the project some other time in the in the year just to try and finish it to the middle before next year, but I really enjoyed this scent. It is such a good like spring intro, and it's like so nice and fruity and fresh. It could really go for any time of year, so yeah, I'm I really enjoy this scent. I'm not gonna try and like force myself to use it because then I'm gonna be sick of it and I never want to be sick of champagne toast. It is such a good scent. Okay, the last fine fragrance mist I have is Whip Vanilla Chiffon and I did get more use on that than the champagne toast in the last month. Um, and for reference, I think I think this one started out right here. We did this, this, and this in a month or in those three months of the spring project. Um, and the goal was to get it to about the middle, which I'm a little bit off of and that's okay for this one as well. I really enjoyed it. It's honestly such a yummy scent and I know some people don't like it, but I really love it. I think this one also has like that mandarin blossom note and vanilla and something else that is like that chiffon part of it but it's such a good scent i really do love it i don't want to get myself sick of it but it's really really nice i also finished off the lotion earlier on in the project and it's just a really nice like simple sophisticated spring scent and i really really enjoyed it throughout this project okay next up is moisturizers which i just put these two in in the last update so it's only been a few weeks but i did get a lot of progress on confetti cake pop um, here is where it started out and then here's where I got to. I believe I got this at last summer's SAS and um, I haven't really had a chance to use it since I bought it. So I just started using it last month because they just came out with it again in like the 4th of July packaging. So I figured this would be a good time to bring it out. But the notes are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. I've been really loving it. It is basically just like birthday cake scent. It smells so good and I think I'm really gonna enjoy this throughout the rest of the summer, but I really did like this and I did make some progress. The next one I have progress on is Raspberry Jam Donut in the body cream. Now this one versus the shower gel, I definitely like the body cream formula more and that's what's really like fun and interesting about Bath & Body Works scents is that in every format, you're gonna get a different kind of scent, a different kind of lingering, um, things in the shower will like bubble up with the heat of the shower and like with you, you know, sudsing it up versus scents like these, when you start rubbing them into your skin and maybe throughout time, they'll kind of mesh into the natural oils of your skin and make a different scent. So I've been loving raspberry jam donut in the body cream. The notes are wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm fluffy donut. I really get all those notes in this one. And it is so yummy. And I think this one I also picked up last, um, last summer SAS I want to say or maybe they came out with this in the winter but I didn't pick it up when it originally came out I picked it up at a SAS and it is kind of going bad a little bit because it is super yellow so I'm glad I've been getting progress on it um I did get a lot of progress in the last update so here's where it was and now we're down to here I've been using it a lot probably like half the time I'm using this and then half the time I'm using confetti cake pop so 
I love it. It's really yummy. Definitely gonna try and finish it before it goes bad. Okay, and the last two things I have updates on are the body scrubs that I have. So this is the Dove Crushed Almond and Mango Butter Scrub, and I've used this a lot. I really love it. So it's unused, and now we're down to here. Um, I probably used it like four times a week for the past two or three weeks. So I've definitely been using it a lot and I love it. The scent is so good and perfect for transitioning into summer and it's just been so yummy. So really enjoying this one. And the last thing I have to update you guys on is the Onyx Bathhouse Dim Bunsdo Foaming Body Scrub. And this one, I can't say I made too much progress on it. I probably used it two times, um, but I still had a lot of, uh, not yellow, like this white one on top. Um, this white color on top, I still had a lot of that left, left last time and only have a tiny bit. So I'll probably use it a few times, but not a ton. I can really only use this like once a week because it is so abrasive. I'll probably use it. Yeah, I think I use it once a week before either I self tan or before I shave. So yeah. Okay, so I just fished through my empties and here's everything that I finished off in three months during my spring project use it up. Okay, so we're gonna start with shower gels. So I finished off, I mean, this one was halfway done when I put it in, but I finished off the moisturizing body wash. I finished off winter candy apple, which actually was right about here when I put it into the spring project. Here's my line, yeah, it was right about here. So I mean, it was mostly used up, but I did finish off this one. And then this was a full size one that I put in and I finished this one off. So three body scrubs in three months. I mean, three, <laughs> sorry, three shower gels in three months. It's a really good progress. One creamy body scrub, and this one took me pretty much the whole project to use, so that one was good. And then the cookies and cream body cream took me most of the project, I think. Maybe it started in the winter to use up. I really love this one. I definitely will pick it up again next year. I did finish off two full-size body lotions. I think this one was almost com completely finished when it started in the spring. So this one was like one fourth left. And then this one I did finish off the entire whipped vanilla chiffon um, in the spring project. So that one was really good. So two full-size body lotions, one full-size body cream, one mini mist, which I had been using for a while. There's a few marks on here. I think I started it off at the beginning of this year. So didn't take me that long, but one mini mist. I have three little other minis here, two body lotions, one in Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Rolls, one in Merry Christmas Raspberry Sugar, and then a Hibiscus Paradise Shower Gel. And then I did finish off three hand creams, which is on par with what I said. I usually use one hand cream per month. So Love Cotton Candy Champagne, that one was really good. Whipped, whipped Berry Meringue and Pink Pineapple Sunrise, which I loved all of these. I'm seeing a common theme here. I like berry scented um, hand lotions, so that's pretty funny. But yeah, that's all the stuff that I finished off in the spring project. Okay, well that is everything for my spring project use it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you also enjoyed this like a little me tracking how much stuff that I finished kind of portion of this video. I think that's gonna be really helpful in the future. I think I'm gonna start incorporating that with the finales of every single project because it's really important for you guys to see and for myself to see how much I use up realistically in like one season because that's really going to help me be able to buy for the next season so if i know that i finish off you know three shower gels per season then okay i'll start off in the, the summer with three new shower gels i'll start off in the fall with three new shower gels that kind of thing so i can keep myself on track because i'll know how much i'm using so that is one great tip that i have for you guys if you want to keep your collection under control be mindful of how much you use up that can really help you with reducing your collection because you'll only be buying as much as you realistically use. So anyways, that is everything for today's video. I will have the summer project use it up on the next video for Friday. So look forward to that. Go ahead and turn on your bell notification so you'll be notified when that video goes up. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you.